Ambulance service is the patient breathing? No, no he's not. He's not? Okay, now listen very carefully. Yeah. You need to place the heel of your hand in the centre of his chest and the other hand on top of it. Okay. Pump that chest hard and fast. This job is a very unique one because we're constantly being reminded that life is so precious. Maybe we have a bit more of a sense of mortality. One, two, three. We're coming as fast as we can, they're not too far away. I was actually involved in a road traffic collision where I was hit from behind by a lorry. It quite badly damaged and crushed my car and actually trapped me underneath the lorry that was in front of me. I was then airlifted to hospital by the air ambulance. Paramedics saved my life that day and I aspire to follow in their footsteps. We teach you to preserve life, prevent further injury and promote recovery. In short, we take you from a pedestrian to being a paramedic. We pride ourselves on the quality of clinician that we produce. But to make the very best paramedics of tomorrow, we need the very best students of today. It's a really good ratio of academia to simulations. It really helps us learn the theory and then put it into practice. The course has people from all walks of life. If you want to be a paramedic and you're willing to put in the work, then there's no reason why you can't be. You need to be a social worker, critical care specialist, a paediatrician, a mental health worker, all in the space of a couple of hours. It's incredibly challenging, it's very demanding, but it's very, very rewarding. From the RTC that I was involved in when I was younger, I found this as an interest to myself, and I feel that there's something that I can give back as well as relate to the situation. the amazing opportunity to go into these people's lives and they tell everything to you. I guess I sort of thrive in the sort of chaos that is this job and I don't think I'll ever ever do anything else in my life.